I, Chase, Kanzi, question. It was time to see if Kanzi would speak to me. Tell him he doesn't understand your already told him. Kanzi. Play yarn. Yes. Kanzi. Try to. Chase. Me. Yes. Chase. Me. an incredible moment. Thanks. But just, just, just... I can't believe I just talked to a bonobo and a bonobo talked to me and invited me to play. Come on. I'll race you. There. Now, clearly, yes. I know this is just anecdotal evidence. It's personal experience. But to me, my connection with Kanzi felt like an amazingly strong link. Chase. I was quite disappointed when I met um, some scientists recently because it really did seem like they, they just closed off and said, no, we've decided, we've categorised it, and, 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 and that's that. It's very easy for us to want to, to shut off our relationship to them and think we're extraordinarily different. Most of the studies are done on captive apes. They're shifted around from zoo to zoo. And you can imagine if you took two-year-old children and put them in a cage and sprayed it down every day and gave them chow and apples to eat and didn't raise them in a city, didn't raise them in a family, didn't get to go to Cub Scouts, didn't get to go to the circus, didn't get to go to the mall, they wouldn't become human. <laughs> you got me. Is he playing? Good. What Sue had said struck a chord with me. Perhaps if you can treat a bonobo as a person, they can become a person. Maybe this type of person is not born, but made. Now, I'm not saying they're members of the human race, but couldn't they be apes and people? Because, after all, isn't that what we are? Race? Chase? I hope we're playing. <laughs>